everyone, my name is Craig and I'm from the UK. I've been teaching in China for two years now. Okay, <laughs> great. So can you tell us a bit about how you first got into English teaching? Well, I was working in a bank before I came out to China and I decided that I wanted to change, I wanted to do something different and I also wanted to travel. So I guess I was online looking for jobs in different countries and this teaching in China came up and it was a very exciting opportunity and that's how I started. Mm -hmm. Okay, great. What advice do you have for people about the recruitment and interview process when looking for jobs teaching in China? I think it's quite important to do your research and make sure that you really know where you're going to first. I came on an internship which was really good and quite helpful, but I don't think it was actually the best uh, scenario for me because it's a big gamble going on an internship, I think, whereas if you go to a recruitment agency that you actually know and you've done your research and you speak to the people, I think that's really a good way to go about it. Mm -hmm. Like if I could do it again, I'd do it that way. But mm -hmm. the way I'd done it originally was good, so I enjoyed it. Yeah. Okay, good. Uh, you are teaching in Nanhai at the moment. Can you tell us about your impressions of the city? What do you like most about living there? I really love Nanhai actually. It's in a good location, I guess. You're not far from Guangzhou. You've got Hong Kong a few hours away. Macau, some nice trips away on the weekends. It's quite fun. But actually, Nanhai is a really good location. Like, there's lots of new shopping malls and lots of places to eat. I think there's a little bit of history in Nanhai that you can see temples, and I think it's just a beautiful place, really. Like, even my, ha my apartment, my gardens are just like unbelievable, almost like a jungle. So, yeah, it's a really cool place, I find. Mm -hmm. uh, what do you like most about teaching English? I guess seeing the children improve is my most thing that I like because when I first arrived they were just really small and they could only speak one word so now they're really speaking sentences and yeah it's just sort of like I enjoy every day so you, even each lesson is fun and do games and yeah I just think it's all pretty hard. good job at the moment. Okay great. Can you tell us about your favourite class at the moment? I teach uh, KB1, I teach them all all morning from 8 o'clock until 11.30 and yeah, there are just 22 kids in the class and every one of them has got their own personality, really happy. That was, as I said, they've learned a lot over the year and yeah, just <laughs> they're just really happy kids so it was really fun to be around. Okay, good. Talk us through a typical day teaching English in China. Well, our day starts at 8 o'clock and we'll meet the kids in the morning, get them to do a morning sentence and greeting and then that's followed by breakfast. Then we'll do an English lesson which is, consists of games and fun activities to get them learning English in a fun environment I guess. And that's followed by morning exercise which is dancing and yeah just a bit of fun. And then after that we'll have a little play time followed by a second English lesson followed by a special class which is like skating, art, library, kung fu and yeah, so that's always with the kids and it's, it's actually quite enjoyable. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. What are teaching resources like there? I found them really impressive actually. Like we've got our own foreign teacher's office where we can, we've got our own computers, printers, flashcards, laminators, yeah everything you need really is pretty, pretty much there for you so I guess. They're really good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, good. How many teachers are there in your school? I don't know exactly how many <laughs> teachers are in my school, but I guess about 30, maybe 30 foreign teachers, and uh, maybe 100 Chinese teachers. So it's a good community. We've go, like, got lots of things to do, like nights out, bowling, and like, yeah, yeah, they treat us really well here, so it's a good place to work, I guess, and you never feel alone. The whole time I've been here has been pretty good. Okay, good. China is full of surprises and unexpected adventures. Tell us about one you've had recently. Um, I guess last weekend I went to a restaurant which was like a buffet, a really nice buffet, but behind the glasses was like white tigers, three really big white tigers and flamingos on the other side and it was just like a really beautiful, nice experience. The food's great and obviously the food here is <laughs> interesting, but yeah, yeah, so I really enjoy the food. But yeah, white tigers are pretty special. So. Okay. Thank you, Craig. Okay, thank you.